Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. I'm in Mexico, back with my dog, and we are sitting pretty now, making a video for my next art show, which is now. You're part of an art show. And since I don't have any spectators, I'm using you online. Because uh, we're alone here in the Baja, traveling home slowly, because Papito needs a bit more, just a bit more love and care. And I painted these three paintings from my experience. So I'm going to walk around and speak as I do, and I hope you enjoy. It was a wild ride for us. People, humans, and dogs. It was hard for us. People, humans, and dogs. It was hard for us to see and speak together with language. What do I need? But I needed more. I needed more as a person, as a child. Papito, my dog, needed more as a dog from people. But when you can't speak yet, what do you say? This one is a psychic telephone just for that. So we have the strong line in the center, which equals grounding through your chakra system. And if you know my work, the two lines on the side pointing in a V denote up and the anchor to up. So we have up, up with the circle and the circle means Peace. If you turn it upside down, and it's esoteric, which means I just did it. I just drew it from my mind. I don't use rulers. Even with this one, it looks straight. Well, maybe it's not that impressive. But this one is also very imperfect. But the line is, some of the lines can be really perfect sometimes, and sometimes my circles are exactly right. But this one is like a kind of a crooked peace sign. But it's perfect, it's esoteric, like ancient wisdom. It's a light language. So the orange, as we have orange in all of them, this time it represents balance. And the red, guess what the red supports this time? Blood. So your family, or dog people, or four-leggeds, or two-leggeds, or no-leggeds, or snake realm, or a spirit realm with no bodies. But blood, in that case, and in this case especially, with shadow. So this one's a bit muddy. The orange is muddy and the and the you might not be able to see but the blue is more muddy. You can see if I bring it closer. It's just it's not pure. So the center orange is pure. The light of it is just pure orange. And as we know in our families sometimes even our purity gets a little bit muddled. So it's hard to call in support like if you just all of a sudden need support, are they going to support you if you hadn't really spoken for some time? Probably not. So that's what I've been feeling out in Mexico. I'm calling in my support, and people think, just get home now. And I'm saying, I am coming home now. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. It's just, I needed a little bit more prayer. But I got it from my family. So family, hurrah. So red is blood, support. It supports our bones and our myths alike, our musculature and each other. It's like your family actually just knows in the field. My mom would have been getting stressed out just before, not knowing what's wrong. I, I just can't stop thinking of my daughter, but I'm not sure. Next thing you know, I have a text. I had to go to Mexico really fast because my little dog had stopped being supported suddenly. It's just his care had walked away a bit. No, through no fault of his own, he just, he had to go but he's our dog. So then the dog falls to another hands, but <clears throat> it's just hard to know what's going on. So much like your children, you wouldn't want them to stay with a babysitter forever. It's the same with the dog, even though he had gentle enough care. It's just, he ran away once, right? Looking for mom. And I was in another country, <laughs> same continent. So I guess he could walk, but <laughs> for how long? So that's him looking for support through the psychic telephone, so I actually knew. That's why I came, Papito needs me. 
No one said Papito needs you. I just knew. But of course you know. But that's how you know, through the field. So this is the psychic telephone of the field, the support. And all this orange is the support. And in all of these paintings, these only these three, the lineage that's in this series, the blue, however beautiful, represents the shadow. So we're saying, give me support through the psychic telephone and field and release the shadow. Get that darkness away, even though it's a beautiful color. And all dark colors are beautiful. But it's just to denote shadow and light. And sometimes I do it the other way. In some of my paintings, the, the light is blue. So it's not to say what color is dark, it's just this time. Esoteric symbolism. Hurrah. So this one is supported by the fact that it is Pepito to me. It's true. Just a strong line up. But also it represents the chakra system. Because Pepito is fast. And so is healing when you have a clean chakra system. In shadow and light alike. Inequality. So you have to go through your pain mind, as you know, to get to the light of it. Like each lesson has its pain and struggle. Then you realize, I maybe I was learning responsibility and kindness. Or whatever it is. But in that case, your shadow would be that maybe you're greedy and manipulative for a while. But it's forgiven, right? It's always forgiven. So in healing, sometimes you have to admit your wrongs. Like with addiction therapy and the, the host of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I haven't gone to it, but I know people that have. And they're writing apologies to people that they've wronged. And then <laughs> everyone's just like ecstatic with the fact that you even remember that they said that thing to you and they're drunk. But I haven't done that, but we all have in a, in a way. So I'm sure I'd said something drunk in the, in the past that I didn't like. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I had. But it's been some time now since I have stopped. So I just have to forgive myself for, I don't know, whatever. Gossiping maybe or saying something rude out of turn. Maybe advice. If somebody gives you advice, that would be, that would be shadow. Like advice unwarranted. Like just get home now. It's like, yeah, I know. But and so on the light side, they say, how's the weather? How is your dog? Are you having fun at least on your travel? That's what it moved to. At first, when I'm saying I need support, everyone's saying, get get the fuck out of there, come home. Because as if you look at my work, I just was berated by a cop as well. So we're having a hard time, and my mom and everyone just wants to support. Like we got to get you out of there, and <laughs> we're in a supportive country of Mexico. So the colors denote Mexico as well. It's not a supportive on country, like. It doesn't mean that because I'm in Mexico, it's not supported because I'm a Canadian citizen. There's a lot of support here and there's so much spiritual alliance. It's just one cop. It was one time. That could have happened in Canada. It could happen anywhere. So the support is that no matter where you go, you'll find someone, right? So that night after my cop beration alone on a highway, very scary, and he took my money. So I'm calling in donations, as you know. It'd be nice. Each of these paintings cost 150 Canadian or higher. And they have a beautiful side. Like, it's a really thick side. And uh, they're just nice. So 150 bucks is not very much for a painting, but it's gonna help me get home. But then, not only can you have this video, but each painting would come with your own personalized message. So, hurrah to that. And we'll see you in the ethers for more art shows. As we keep moving north, we're going to go to Papito and I. And our art and channelings are going to Florida, we hope, if Anna can support that, just for a couple days stay and make another art show. And then off to New York, where my brother lives, Devin, hurrah. And Papito and I are well rested now. We ate a lot of fruit and Papito eats lots of meat. And so we had veggie plates and walks on the beach. And you can email me at alanacronshaw at gmail.com. So that's it. I love you. Goodbye. For now.